It's your girl, Miss Solomon from thedatingtruth.com. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel up above, please. And you can also follow me on Twitter at The Dating Truth and on Instagram at The Dating Truth. So in case you haven't noticed, it's nighttime, but I'm still filming a video because I really had a thought about some people's misconceptions when it comes to successful dating and I wanted to address it in a video. So when I talk about successful dating, it means that you want to achieve what your personal goals are when it comes to your love life. Now, I've worked in sales a long time and I really think that selling and dating are incredibly similar there are so many parallels and one thing that I've learned over the years is that when you set success goals in selling you focus on something called conversion now if you're not in sales or you're not familiar with the term it basically means the difference between how many people you get to buy and how many people you actually come across now working in luxury retail our company standard for conversion was 15%. Depending on your experience with selling or sales or sales goals, you may or may not know or feel that that's high or low or whatever. But think about this. Imagine that you come across 20 people and you can engage them and flirt with them and three, you go on a date with three. That is a 15% conversion rate and that is amazing and that is something that is so simple three people out of 20 like that's so freaking simple easy so what is your conversion rate in dating how many people are you hitting on how many people are you flirting with how many people are you attempting to engage attract and um and and or create a relationship with or how many good-looking people do you really see on a daily basis? How many people do you see that you're attracted to? I mean, these are the things that we have to start paying attention to because you can't argue with facts. So many single people will say, oh, I can't meet anyone. I don't meet anyone. There's no one out there. I Everyone I talk to is taken. Everyone I talk to is gay. Everyone I talk to isn't interested. Everyone I talk to only you know, dates this kind of person or that kind of person. Well, I want you to start counting. Like literally, start counting, keep count. So keeping count of all the people that you're talking to, it may not be sexy, it may not be cute, it may seem a little bit desperate or contrived or or scripted and maybe you feel calculated in doing it. But when you're successful, when people are going out with you, who gives like, who cares, really? Like, who cares? Like, who cares? It does not matter. If you are willing to dedicate time to a relationship, then you should be willing to dedicate time to finding that relationship. Then you should dedicate time to dating, to going on dates, to meeting people, to doing the research and finding out if there are compatible potential dates all around you that you're missing out on. So I really want you to think about what is your conversion rate going to be? How many numbers do you want to get? How many people do you want to engage? And how many dates do you want to go on? And that will tell you how successful you are. And if you find that you are being successful, then hey, pat yourself on the back. Stop giving yourself such a hard time just because you haven't found the right person or the one. But if you're not being successful, really take a step back and figure out what you need to do to step your game up. That's what I'm here for. So I want you to think, okay, the next 20 people that you meet, the next 20 people that you engage, the next 20 people that you have a conversation with or even make eye contact with, you need three of them to go out with you. You will have a 15% conversion rate and that is amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe up above. And you can follow me on Twitter at The Dating Truth. And you can follow me on Instagram.